Hello, in this video we're going to be making Kingdom Hearts Palpu Fruit Boba with sea salt cream soda. Here's a list of ingredients in case you want to make this yourself. Start by adding water and sugar to a pot on low heat, then we're going to stir this up until all the sugar is completely dissolved. Once that's done, we're going to add in some tapioca starch and stir it in. It should not clump up if it does means the heat was too high. Turn up the heat a little bit and keep stirring. This is going to get very sticky and that's exactly what we want. Once it's sticky, we're going to add in the rest of our tapioca starch and fold that in until a dough forms. Now we're going to take this over to a cutting board with some tapioca starch and pour out our dough. Knead this until smooth. This should be about the texture you're going for. Maybe a little stretchy, rips a little bit. It shouldn't be sticky though. If it's sticky, add more tapioca starch. I'm going to move some of this extra tapioca starch to the side before separating into two pieces. Now I'm going to add in my food coloring, some yellow and some green. Now you don't want to add too much food coloring. It might look pretty light at first, but once you cook it, those colors will really come through. So the green looks a little light, but trust me, it'll cook darker. Now I have these little star-shaped cutters. One's a fondant cutter, one's a cookie cutter. I like the fondant cutters because they have a little plunger that lets you push out the stars you cut. Then I'm going to cut a whole bunch of these and I'm gonna turn these into little palpu fruits by wetting one of the corners and attaching a little green piece to it to look like a leaf. And that's how I'm gonna get my little palpu fruit shape. Now, we have to make a lot of these, so I asked for some help from someone I'd wanna split a palpu fruit with. Do this until every star has a leaf. Now take all your little palpu fruits, pour them into some boiling water, cook covered for 10 minutes, and let them rest in the pot for 10 more. Now we're gonna check on them and see if they're transparent. If they don't look like this, you might want to leave them in the hot water for a little bit longer and check on them in a few minutes. But if they are done, then you can pour them out, drain the water, and rinse in cold water to give them that perfect texture. You can also add some syrup or honey to sweeten these up a little bit. Now for the drink, I saw this concept art on Twitter for sea salt cream soda. I knew I had to make it. I'll put a link in the description below. In my glass, I'm going to start by adding my palpu fruit boba. Then I'm going to add in some ice, add in some teal food coloring, some vanilla syrup, and some club soda. Then you could use half and half, but I went with heavy whipping cream. Then stir to get that perfect sea salt ice cream color. I also topped with some homemade sea salt whipped cream. Then I added some extra palpu fruit boba on top of the whipped cream to get the perfect Kingdom Hearts themed drink. If you have an idea of something you'd like to see, drop a comment down below. Here are some older ones I made, like some Nautica boba, Pikachu boba, and League of Legends boba. I'd love to hear your ideas. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Bye!